These three types of ants can cause various problems for humans, ranging from painful stings to structural damage and even health hazards. Effective ant control measures typically involve a combination of sanitation, exclusion, and targeted pesticide application, tailored to the specific species and infestation level. Let's delve deeper into each of the three types of ants and the specific challenges they pose to humans. Fire Ants Physical Characteristics Fire ants are typically reddish-brown in color and range in size from 1.6 to 5 mm in length. They have a distinctive two-segmented pedicel, narrow waist, between their thorax and abdomen. Aggressive behavior. Fire ants are highly territorial and will aggressively defend their nests if they perceive a threat. When disturbed, they swarm out of their mounds and deliver painful stings, often repeatedly. Their stings inject venom that contains alkaloids and proteins, causing a burning sensation, itching, and potentially severe allergic reactions in some individuals. Colonization Patterns Fire ants construct large, dome-shaped mounds in soil, typically in open, sunny areas. These colonies can contain thousands to hundreds of thousands of ants, with multiple queens responsible for reproduction. Ecological Impact in addition to their impact on humans, fire ants can disrupt ecosystems by preying on small animals, competing with native ant species for resources, and damaging plant roots. Carpenter Ants Appearance Carpenter ants vary in size and color, but they're generally larger than many other ant species with workers measuring 6 to 12 millimeters in length. They can be black, red, or a combination of both colors. Wood damaging behavior. Unlike termites, which eat wood, carpenter ants excavate it to create galleries and tunnels for their nests. They prefer damp, decaying wood but can also infest sound wood if conditions are suitable. Over time, carpenter ant activity can weaken wooden structures, potentially causing structural damage. Nesting Sites Carpenter ants commonly establish nests in various indoor and outdoor locations, including hollow trees, tree stumps, rotting logs, and wooden structures such as homes, decks, and fences. Foraging Behavior while carpenter ants primarily feed on sugary substances, they also scavenge for protein-rich foods like insects and meat scraps, making them a common nuisance in kitchens and pantries. Pharaoh ants Tiny size Pharaoh ants are among the smallest ant species, measuring only about 1.5 to 2 mm in length. They are light yellow to reddish brown in color and have a distinctive black mark on their abdomens. Indoor Pests Pharaoh ants are well adapted to indoor environments and thrive in warm, humid conditions. They often infest buildings, particularly hospitals, nursing homes, apartment complexes, and food handling establishments. Multiple Queens Pharaoh ant colonies can contain numerous queens, which enables them to fragment and establish satellite nests quickly. This reproductive strategy makes them particularly challenging to eradicate with traditional ant control methods. Health Concerns They have been implicated in the transmission of pathogens such as Salmonella, Staphylococcus, and Streptococcus. Addressing infestations of these ants requires a comprehensive approach that may involve habitat modification, sanitation practices, exclusion measures, 
and targeted insecticide applications. Moreover, understanding the behavior and biology of each ant species is essential for developing effective control strategies tailored to the specific challenges they present. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.